Willow is sickening. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. If you're watching Drag Race season 14 and you haven't heard of Cystinosis, then you are definitely skipping most of the episode and going straight to the runway. And I get that. But if you're glued to your TV like I am any time that Willow Pill does literally anything, you've undoubtedly heard about the crystals in her eyes as well as her miserable hand job skills. And then I also have a disability in my fingers and my wrists, so I give really bad hand jobs, yeah. which is tragic. Hi Frenemas, I'm Dr. Jake, a real-life gay doctor, and I'm here to discuss cystinosis. Just a quick disclaimer, I don't speak for Willow Pill, and it's impossible for me or anyone else to understand the experience that she's had with cystinosis. Chronic disease affects every person differently. Willow is sickening. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. But she's just one person with cystinosis. Cystinosis is a disease where your body has trouble processing a specific amino acid called cysteine. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins in your body, which make up myriad organs and help your body perform literally all of its functions. From slang to sashaying. It's chocolate. There are 20 essential amino acids in total, and this defect in just one of them can lead to serious health issues. How is the processing wrong? Cysteine is degraded to the garbage form cystine after a protein is trashed by your body. It gets degraded by the lysosome. The lysosome is the combined shredder and recycling bin of your cells. But it needs a special tool, a protein called cystinosin, to help take out the trash, so to speak. When it can't do that, cystine gums up the works. How do you get cystinosis? Cystinosis is a genetic condition, or a condition that you inherit from your parents at birth. DNA, which provides your body with a recipe for making proteins like cystinosin, can have a mistake or a mutation in it that causes a change in the recipe. And your body follows the recipe for a protein as it's written in your DNA every single time. If your recipe for baking a loaf of bread says to add double the yeast, and you follow that recipe exactly, you'll end up with a loaf of bread that overflows your pan, and maybe even your oven. Similarly, if your recipe for cystinosin has an amino acid in the wrong place, you'll end up with an overflowing recycling bin. So how does extra cystine cause problems in the body? When cystine is too concentrated, it forms crystals. Wow. It grows little crystals in your eyes. It's very glamorous. Yes. <laughs> And when these crystals build up in specific organs, they can cause those organs not to work well. The biggest victim of cystinosis is the kidneys, which help to filter waste out of your blood. Cystine can build up and block some of the tubes in the kidneys. This buildup can cause kidney failure, and many people with cystinosis ultimately need a kidney transplant or to go on dialysis, like Willow. And in case you didn't know this, kidney transplant surgery is no joke. It's a big and dangerous surgery, and after a kidney transplant, you have to take medications for your entire life that suppress your immune system to prevent it from rejecting your new kidney. Some other organs that can be affected. The muscles. Cystinosis can cause low potassium, which can lead to weakness in the distal muscles, or the muscles that are farthest out from your heart, like the hands and fingers. The vocal cords, which are made of muscles, can also be affected, and this can lead to difficulty swallowing and changes in the quality of the voice. The eyes. Crystal buildup in the eyes can lead to spasms and increased light sensitivity. In adulthood, many people with cystinosis can experience vision impairments. The thyroid. Cystinosis can cause low thyroid levels. Now, normally, low thyroid levels can lead to sensitivity to cold and weight gain. However, many people with cystinosis who do have thyroid issues don't have any symptoms from it. No one's really sure why, but if I hear of any research about it, I will let you know. The testicles and the ovaries. Many people with cystinosis have delayed puberty. Interestingly enough, it's pretty common for men with cystinosis not to make sperm, but many women with cystinosis are able to become pregnant and have children normally. The brain. The moment of glory is now. In adulthood, the buildup of cystine can cause stroke-like episodes and dementia. The bones. <laughs> I said bones. Many teens and adults with cystinosis are at higher risks for fractures or breaks in the bones. Do different people have different versions of cystinosis? Yes, some people with cystinosis don't have any symptoms until adulthood, and some people are sick from a very young age. Also, not every person with cystinosis will have problems with every organ that I named. This phenomenon is called variable expressivity. In other words, you can have the disease and have a completely different experience from somebody else who has it. How is it treated? The main treatment is a medication called cystamine. It helps the cells to clear out those extra cystine crystals. 
Unfortunately, it's not a perfect treatment. Many of the people who take it still end up with complications of cystinosis, but it can delay or stop some complications from arising. Unfortunately, kidney failure is one of those complications that can't be stopped by taking cystamine. However, delaying kidney failure can allow some people with cystinosis to live normal lives for longer before they have to get a kidney transplant or go on dialysis. What does the future of cystinosis look like for Willow? It's hard to know. Willow's disease could progress or it could stay about the same. But what I want to focus on is this. Not only is Willow amazing trans representation on RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, along with all the other amazing trans queens on this season, but Willow is an example of how people with chronic diseases have unlimited potential. Never count someone out just because they have an illness. And if you see her on the street, tell her I said hi and I love everything she does. I will see you next time when I discuss Diabetes Diabetes. Now go watch me react to some uh, up there. Dr. Jake out. Bye bye. Willow, 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 pear.